It's an event known throughout the country, one that brings thousands of runners, their spectators, and their money to Savannah. But once again, the Rock and Roll Marathon may fall victim to concerns about COVID-19. The race is just a month out, but the city has still not decided if it's going to take place. WSAV News 3's Joanne Merrigan has our top story. No, we don't want these folks to come have the time of their life and leave us with a COVID uptick. Savannah Mayor Van Johnson says they're watching the numbers daily. It's been two years since the Rock and Roll Marathon was held in the Hostess City. The event canceled last year because of concerns about spreading COVID. This year in 2021, event organizers have moved ahead, setting the event date for November 6th. But the mayor is still talking to organizers. They said they had a little bit of time, so um, we're hoping within the next week um, we'll be able to make a decision about what what November looks like for us. Stay tuned. Johnson's confident event organizers would have safety protocols in place, including perhaps requiring vaccinations for runners. There's 15,000 people coming runners. Um, that's not the issue because I believe they can protect their runners. The issue is the 7,000 people who come with the 15,000 people who are not runners and they're in our stores and they're in our businesses and they're among our folks and they may not be vaccinated and there are no protocols for them. So um, I think that's where we have to kind of balance it out. The mayor says cases are going down and vaccinations going up, but will that be enough? Visit Savannah says they're hopeful the numbers will continue to go in the right direction so the mayor will feel comfortable letting the event happen and that organizers say that over 16,000 runners have already registered for this year. Visit Savannah says that's a lot of hotel and restaurant business and retail spending. From the beginning of this, um, our position was we were going to keep the faith and follow the science. The mayor says they will rely on local health officials' interpretation of the numbers. So will you see runners a month from now? As Johnson said, stay tuned. Joanne Merrigan, WSAV News 3, on your side. Again, we should know next week if the city will sanction the event, uh, which uh, needs approval, by the way, because it uses city facilities and also right-of-ways.